Hello and welcome to the fourth WX Python tutorial. Uh, in the last tutorial, we added a file button and then an exit so we could like actually hit file and exit um, and gave an event for it. And um, in this tutorial, and actually, let me show you where we are at the moment. And this, so this is where we left off. We've got Epic Window. We can do things with the window, we, and we can go file exit. But as you can see, there's literally nothing in here because all we've done so far is create a frame. But the next step to doing more things, besides adding a toolbar, right? Because you have a menu bar and a toolbar, and we'll get into toolbars in a little bit. Um, but the most um, probably important part to any window or program is going to be actually what's right in here, and that's called a panel, right? So on, if you just look at your own um, uh, IDE here, this is your menu bar. This is your frame, like right around the edges. But everything in here, this is your panel. Like this is where you can do stuff and type things in, right? So let's make a panel. And right now we're going to make a really, really basic panel. We'll just make a panel just like this, basically. Um, so let's hop right on into that. Basically what you're going to do is in the GUI, now uh, we want to have a panel. So let's go ahead and just define a panel as we'll call it a panel. And that's going to equal a wx.panel. And in here we'll just put self and we'll close that off. And let's also say, let's say we want to have another button, right? Like we have the menu bar, file button. Because uh, eventually what you'll have is you'll have like a panel and then a menu bar, and then we've got a file button, and then the exit item on the file button. But let's say, like, so we can start getting um, used to kind of organization here, because right now we just kind of have everything in here. Let's say you want to add another button. So let's say edit button. And again, that's going to equal WX menu. And then we'll come down uh, here where we had the file button, and we'll just say menu bar dot append. And we'll say edit button, and then obviously this is going to be called edit. So that's it with adding like more and more buttons to it, and hopefully you're starting to catch on at least there with as far as how easy you can just add more and more buttons. Now the next thing we want to do is after we've done you know the menu bar, um, so I would say it looks kind of like that probably over time, and you can add more stuff, and you'll add stuff to those buttons because like you've got added buttons. Just trying to help y'all get used to organizing these windows. Um, now, what we need to do is see we've defined a panel, but we haven't actually done anything with that panel. Like we defined it, but when we run this program, this is all we get. Like we've got the file, we've got edit, but there's nothing there. We've got our exit at least because we made that. But we've said, hey, okay, we're gonna get prepared to do a panel, but we haven't said like we haven't initialized that panel. So the next thing we want to do is um, we're going to add just a text box. So we'll just say text um, control, and that's going to be uh, using our panel that we made. And then you can define any position that you want. We'll just say um, we'll do 10, 10. And it's kind of like positioning things in HTML. Again, you're using like the top left corner um, and then size we'll say the size is 250 by 150 and and that should be it uh, so we'll save that we'll run it and here is our text box now again so what I mean by that is see here's the end of the frame right like this is the frame the mini bar kind of applies to it's not really a part of the frame, but it kind of is as far as like um, customizing the panel stuff, right? Like the menu bar is part of the frame, theoretically. So when you say position 10, 10, that means it's 10 pixels over, 10 pixels down, right? So that's what that means. And then obviously size 250, it's 250 wide by 150 pixels tall. And then within here, we could type stuff and we're gonna, you know, make like an epic program where you can just type stuff. No, not really. But that's the basics of uh, panels. And then, you know, besides making it, you know, a text box, you can do pretty much anything now at this point 
with using these panels. So hopefully uh, you guys are starting to get a little bit more interested in these uh, WX Python windows. And thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.